World of Final Fantasy. Hello there, and welcome back to some more World of Final Fantasy. Uh, this is a Final Fantasy style Pokemon game. It's the best way I can describe it, and I've tried playing it like twice and got further each time, but now that I'm recording it, I will actually finish it. Um, the intention was to play Crystal Chronicles Remastered, and I will, as a B-side to this. So for the first time in a long time, we'll have two series running in the same time. So I'm going to record as much of this as possible to give myself a backlog. But here we go. I've set everything up the way I want it. Uh, I can raise the volume and stuff later. New game. This is World of... This is World of Final Fantasy Maxima. The brother. The sister. Time to wake up. I gotta get to work. So yes. Oh, am I gonna make it? The boss hates when I'm late. Uh, it looks like the game is playing in 30 FPS. I don't know if I can change that. I don't think I can. I think it's just in 30 FPS the whole Again, time. It's not like business has picked up any. But then I will check after these couple of recordings and see if I can figure out uh maybe we should start selling sandwiches along with the coffee figure out if I can make it 60 fps or not north promenade you yeah, have played through the first two worlds <sighs> the streets sure are quiet today twice i believe nine bean coffee Here. Good morning. 
I'm real sorry. I hope you haven't been waiting long. Hmm, the customer. Right. She needs some water. Oh, no thanks. A pint. I mean, a cup of coffee, please. Oh, and bring the whole jar of sugar. I'm gonna need it. Right. It's one cup of joe. And I'll get you one of the big jars. Has nobody made the coffee yet? Come on. Get together, guys. I'm sorry, miss. This might take a while. Hey, no hurry. Time's not an issue. Here you go. Thank you. Sure. Down, Rain. How about acting your age, huh? Hey, don't talk down to me. Listen, last time I checked, little bro, I've been around a few minutes longer than you. <sighs> okay, okay. I get it already. Very sorry. Rain and Lan. <laughs> so what's up? Well, Lan. I'm all ears. Well, you don't have to get all sarcastic. Uh, you really are all ears. Uh, what? Forget it. So long. Have you seen anybody this morning? Well, yeah. I mean, I'm looking right at you, aren't I? And there's that customer. What? Ah! Oh, hello. You didn't even see her? Dude. Uh, yeah, but... Ah, look! Come with me right now! Easy! No, she put 13 cubes of sugar in her coffee. I have three, and that's a lot. 13? It's mental. There's nobody here. So it's a quiet morning. Maybe they just. I mean no one. Huh? Lon, have you bumped into anyone today besides her? Uh, now that you mention it, I guess not. And this isn't setting off any alarms? Should it? You two really don't remember a thing. Huh? What was that? Who are you? If you're from around town, then I don't know you. Uh, Rain Manners. You two really don't remember a thing. Would you please just answer my question? You can call me Anna Crow. Anna Crow will work. And a crow. Okay, well, we woke up to a ghost town this morning. Maybe you know why? Yes, you're quite alone. But you always have been. Huh? This world, it's always been the two of you. A world without time. One that ended when it began. What? That's the weirdest thing I've heard. But don't worry. Just because the world ended doesn't mean that it's going anywhere. You know, I have been checking up on you two. Until now, you were nothing but blank stares. So imagine my surprise when Lon took my order. What a morning. Okay. Now you're kind of scaring me. So, now that you're awake, we've got a story to tell. Which brings us to... Tama! Right to here! Uh, who the hog put this thing on my head? Yeah, I did try to mention it before. You take it from here. I'll go on ahead and link up a path. You the gun! Huh? Hey, hey! You hey, can't just uh... leave! Salutations! The name is Tama, and I'm here to help. 
help out. Does anyone have any questions? <sighs> Wait, I've got tons of questions. Why were you sitting on my head? And how long can a fox even talk? That's the seriously the first thing on your mind? <sighs> now I will see why Inna Crow is just about the ready to throw in the towel. You're not allowed to be confused? <sighs> hey, whoa, <laughs> take it easy there, Lon. I thought you were upset Let's too. Let's start the over. I'll make us some the coffee. Huh? Oh, yes, please. <sighs> but I already made some coffee before you got here. How can you just roll with this rain? Chill the owl. You'll live the much longer. Yeah, Lon. You shouldn't start out your morning with so much stress. Oh, would you the like some sugar? Three cubes for you, right, Lon? Huh? I'm uh, good with just one. No. Okay, I... I'll have to go and put the coffee on. But I just said I... You know what? Just give me my dang cup of coffee. I like how he says, what the honk. He definitely means, what the fuck is this thing doing on my head? So, uh, replace honk with fuck. can do that? Dude. How could you the forget? You used to command a whole legion of them. You were masters of them. Powerful living illusions known as mirages. In the fact, even the Pleiad answered to you and those are the seven strongest mirages of all. With their power, you could have the ruled over all the world. Oh. So, we could have ruled the world? Because, what, we controlled these mirages? Well, that's what I've heard. From who? What do you mean? In a crow that told me, of course. But enough the reminiscing. I've got to teach you two to use mirages again. What? How's that? First off, I'm going to present you with my very own prismarium. So what does it do? With this prismarium, the mirage inside becomes yours. And you can then make it do the anything and the everything you command. So let's just try it right now in glorious combat. Wait. What? Huh? Points, also the known as AP. You automatically gain a little bit of AP each the time your turn comes around in battle. The amount of AP you need depends on the what you're trying to do. So make for sure you use them wisely. Oh, I will. Get ready, it's battle time. Characters take turns based on agility. The faster a character, the sooner they get to act. See that long, thin bar? Each face represents a different character. When a character's icon reaches the top of the bar, they can select the action to perform. You can use the right stick to switch between characters who are ready to act. The actions you can take in battle are called abilities. Abilities are mapped to B, Y, X, and H. Press a key to use their ability. A target is chosen for you automatically, so you can speed through combat easily, simply and easily with these shortcuts. I'm playing on classic though. Abilities are assigned to keys automatically in the order you learn them, but you can also customize your shortcuts via the game menu. Find the setup that works best for you. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing the old school strats. Um, I would like Foxfire, please. And then my go. I haven't got any ability, so I'll just attack you. Yeah, that's the way to the do it. Certain commands like magic and other abilities cost AP to use. Characters recover AP when their turns come around, or by successfully exploiting enemy weaknesses. The more powerful the command, the more AP it requires. Most mirages have weaknesses you can exploit for bonus damage and AP. Discovering them will give you a huge advantage. Don't be afraid to try things out. But I, I put it on five for battle speed, but I might want to actually put it on 1. I don't know whether 1 is faster or 5 is faster because it didn't tell me. Hit him. MP seems to regenerate every turn. You can hold RB to fast forward. I could also toggle it, but I think holding it's better because that way I know I'm doing it when I want to do it. Get wrecked, you Ugu. 
There are three battle modes, active, semi-active and wait. In active mode, time keeps flowing regardless of whether you input commands, battle moves quickly and without interruption. In wait mode, time starts until you input a command for the character whose turn is up, which is what I'm doing. This gives you a chance to cons carefully consider each action. You can change your battle menu via the settings in the config menu. You can find active mode to challenge yourself, so sticking with wait mode until you have grown more accustomed to combat. Here's another useful tip. During LB or during battle, you can press LB to open a more complete list of commands. To some of you, this classic menu style may look very familiar. There are some commands, for example items, that can only be accepted only be selected from this full menu. If you've chosen active mode, time continues to flow while the menu is open, so be careful. One last thing, you can pick and choose your targets when using a full menu. This comes in handy when you want more control over the fight. Why wouldn't I use normal mode? Or classic mode? Did you really make me 1 XP away from leveling up? That's just rude. Okay. Surpassed, no, the Mirage could stand up to you. Dude, seriously? Dude, but seriously, it's hard to believe. I'm sure it is. As far as I can tell, you two have lost everything. All the memories and experience you've ever accumulated. Oh, but wait. Of course that would have happened when you and this world were spliced out. Huh? So not only did they lose the Mirages they had, they've been stripped of all their memories of the Mirages too? But, I guess that explains why all their other memories seem to be largely unaffected. What? Listen, let me show you something. Don't ask me why Tama says the in the middle of all her sentences, I have no idea. There, just beyond this light, lies another world called Grimoire. That is where you'll find all the mirages you've lost. You mean they're all inside this gate? You got it. Are you ready to conquer them again? So, um, if we do manage to find all the lost mirages, does that mean we'll be able to remember the things we forgot? Well, I don't know about that. After all, you lost your memories. It's not the same thing as forgetting them. Oh. But, even if you don't remember Grimoire, Grimoire still knows a lot about you. You're certain to find traces and records of your past. Okay, so like... You're saying whether we remember anything about ourselves or not, we can still find clues about our past and the things we've done? Correct. And if you keep on gathering mirages, I think you might even meet your family in due time. <laughs> Our family? Huh? Well, I guess it does make sense that we'd have parents. Oh, yes. So then, you going? You going? Will you journey to Grimoire? <sighs> <sighs> I guess I mean know the idea. Um, Gateway to Adventure revived in Grimoire. Eighty-eight percent of players have got this far in the game. I guess twelve percent heard Tamma's voice and were like, "Nope." Chapter Land. One. Land of the Lilikin. I don't need to speak during those bits. So, this must be Grimoire. What? <laughs> what? You look like such a little dweeb! <laughs> oh, uh, uh, <laughs> I know! We look ridiculous! <laughs> huh? Oh, don't the worry! I'm sure that's how everybody in this world must look! And a crow just wanted to make sure you had a nice and a handy way of blending in. Wow, she can do stuff like that? That is awesomely weird. Well, this kind of works out. We won't have anybody gawking at our arms. Way to find the silver lining. In Grimoire, the smaller people are called Illikin and the taller people are called Giants. The twins can switch freely between these forms to change Ryan, press LB and B. To change Lan, press LB and X. I'll probably end up calling in Lan. Although you're free to shoot around as either side, you'll start combat in your current form, so it's never better to have a stack set up for both situations. The tips you see in these panels are never out of reach. You can view them again by selecting the tip jar from the game menu. In fact, you might even notice Enocro has slipped a few extra tidbits in there so they don't appear during the course of the game, so remember to check the tip jar every now and then. I guess we should head straight down this path? It's the only direction we can go. 
think you can manage to not get lost? You know, just this once. What? I'm not gonna get. Now let me just check some things like items. I've got the Urugu prism. And Colosseum tickets. These are probably um Maxima stuff. Right. What? I'm not gonna get lost. Oh, hello. I spy another mirage. That is the call to Choco Chip. What are you the waiting for? Go on and imprison the it. Okay. Oh, Alright, Chocobo friend. Let's do it. Chips Prismerian. Every time you find a new of the Mirage you haven't seen before, it'll be recorded in Anna Crow's special Mirage manual. Whoa! Does it even have pictures? You the betcha. And then whenever you add a new Mirage to the manual, you receive one of its prisms. But only the first time, the mind you. Okay, first try the weakening the Choco Chip, then the use your prism. Okay, so in order to imprison a Mirage, you need an empty prism compatible with that Mirage. It's a Pokeball. There's some good news. Enocro will provide you with your first compatible prism whenever you enter a new Mirage. It's a special Pokeball. Uh, why doesn't Enocro just fork over the whole lot of them right now? Come on, where's the fun in that? Besides, she doesn't do bulk orders. Don't worry, you'll be able to befriend almost every Mirage you meet eventually. So be sure to take the time to get another friend you have before looking for new ones. Once a prism holds a Mirage, it's known as Prismarium. The Mirage's Prismarium allows you to use the Mirage in battle. If you look closely at the Prismarium, you can see a miniature world inside. They're like snow globes, but be nice and don't try to shake them. So to recap, you start with an empty prism, imprisoning a mirage and the prism turns it into a prismarium, the prismarium will actually add the mirage to your stacks and use it in battle. Even if you fail to imprison a mirage, you won't lose the prism, so there's no need to hold back. That's better than Pokemon. If you press start during battle, a window will open containing info on the mirages you're facing. With the Libra ability, you can see even more detailed information. You can switch between mirages with L, B, and RB. Each mirage is strong or weak against certain elements or status elements. Learn to identify the following symbols when looking at mirage data. Fire, ice, thunder, wind, water, earth, light, and dark. That makes sense. Poison, Confusion, Sleep and Blindness, Oblivion, Berserk, Slow and Death. Nullifies Elemental Attacks and Absorbs Elemental Attacks. In addition to status elements, each sometimes characters undergo other positive and negative changes in battle. These are usually triggered by abilities and are sometimes represented by the following symbols. Stun, Protect, Shell, Reflect, Region, Haste, Bravery, Faith and KO. Okay. Strength up and down, but all stats up and down. Right, use physical attacks to create a prism, prism tunity. That's my control stick. Right, attack it. There, a prism tunity. Use the imprism command to declaim that mirage for your own. Mhm. Mm the imprism command. You might have to try different things before certain mirages will let down their guard and give you a chance to imprison them. Think the outside of the box. You can't just walk up to mirages and imprison them. To collect a mirage, you need to knock it into the pris prism tunity state first. Mirages won't let that guard down further, so don't miss a prism tunity when it arrives. Sometimes all you need to create a prism tunit is a big heavy club, but the brute force approach doesn't always work. Try putting the club down and thinking outside the box. Prism tunit requires very from requirements vary from mirage to mirage, but Libra can often provide you with a good hint, and I'll be using it all the goddamn time. Good. Alright, let's imprism it. I did it. Mirage Keeper. You did it! Now that the Choco Chip is inside the Prismarium, it's yours to the keep! No trouble at all! Oh yeah! I have done it. I am successful. I'm gonna press A soon, but not yet. Right, we both leveled up just about. Got no money. We also got a Mirage, a little chocobo that loves to waddle around. These feathery friends love to headbutt things. This is fine because a chocobo's eggshell never cracks twice. It can learn different things at different levels, but for now. Let's name our Mirage. 
I mean, your first Choco always gets called Boko. That's it's just the way it is. Looks good. All right. Cool beans. Oh, I can see the Choco Chick running around in the Prismarium. Pretty the neat, huh? Next, why the don't you have a go at stacking that Choco Chick on your head? Here, watch. I'll just show you. Oh, now I get it. So when I saw you perched on Lon's head back in Ninewood Hills, that's what you call stacking. Yep, that's the right. While I'm up to here, I get to take it nice and the easy. Uh, is that stacking or slacking? When you create a stack, the HP of everyone in the stack gets the added together. Like they say, strength in the numbers. Oh, so it's like combining into a super robot. Better be yet. Your magic and other abilities have the potential to change too. It all depends on how your stack is configured. Huh? Oh, I don't need any action figures when I get to blast out super attacks like a super robot. Well, just be the careful. Stacking doesn't make you invincible. Some of the enemy attacks have the power to unstack you. In other words, bye-bye super robot, so to speak. Yowzers. That does sound like bad news. It's true that we are individually the weaker when we're unstacked. But look on the bright side. Since we each get our own the turn in battle, we can use the extra moves to have one member attack and another the heal. It can be very the helpful. Depending on the situation, you might even decide to unstack yourselves by choice. Think the carefully and choose the best setup for the job. When you stack the mirages, the stats such as HP of all the stack members are combined. Your abilities may also transform, sticking with the right buddy can give you access to new and powerful skills and magic. You're always more powerful in a stack than you are fighting apart, but there is one downside. Weakness is also shared among the whole stack, which can get you into trouble. Use the stack setup screen in the game menu to choose which mirages will fight alongside you, or is it on top of you? You should set up stacks of both your forms, Lilikin and Giant. The way you're ready, that way you're ready for battle, no matter what size you're using to explore. A stack can be up to three members high. There is one simple rule: smaller goes on top of bigger. Try it out, and you'll get the hang of it in no time. Line or Lan, Rain, and the mirages are assigned sizes: small, medium, and large. In your stacks, large goes on the bottom, medium goes in the middle, and S goes on the top. Or small goes on the top. Easy, right? And mine. Or Rain and Lan, it's fucking too many similar sounding names, are large sized giants. Mirages will always stack above them. When the twins are medium sized Lilikin, things get a little more crazy. Suddenly they can ride on top of large sized mirages and, and put a small sized mirage on top of their heads at the same time. Okay. By the way, you two can be switched between giant size and Lilikin size. Depending on your size, you can make different stacks. You won't be allowed to put big things on top of the small things when creating a stack. So, to get on top of a mirage, you need to be in Lilikin form. The best way to the learn is to try it once you've rounded up a few more mirages. You'll pick it the up in no time. What? Okay, so why pick it the up? What does that make any sense? Okay. I can stack Libra and Foxfire and Prism and Escape. Okay. Stack set up. Alright, so the Choco Chick is small, so you can go on top of this form. I think I can have. Maybe I can't. Oh, yeah, I can. I can have it on the small and large version, but not on both people. So that works. Okay, let's go. What is this furnace looking thing? Huh? A dead end? But there's nowhere else to go. What are we gonna do? Never the fear! Look this closely! This may appear to the be a wall, but it's actually a Jimmy Golem. Is this a mirage too? Not in the traditional the sense of the word. But you'll see these pests all over Grimoire. And unless you they give them what they want, they'll give you a hard the time and block the way. So what is it they want? It really the depends on the Jimmy Golem. So the first thing you'll have to do is examine it. Let me find out. All right, mate. Jimmy, Jimmy. You see a luster leaf reflecting its eye. Let me find that. that choco chick you just imprisoned ought to be able to track the down what we need. But first things the first, you're going to have to unlock the right ability on the choco chick's the mirage boy. 
Each Mirage has its own Mirage board, a special child that's packed with new powers and a potential is like the Sphere Grid. Abilities, stat boots, each boosts, even not boots. Each space on the board holds a new surprise. You can unlock the spaces using the SP or your Mirages earn when they level up. Some spaces on the Mirage boards cannot be unlocked until you meet special conditions, but with a little work, they're all within reach. Mirages that have learned the Stroll ability will appear alongside Rain and Lan in their field, so you can explore Grimoire together. If you're accompanied by multiple Mirages with the Stroll ability, you can cycle between them and left and right. Sometimes, strolling Mirages will discover useful items. Try bringing different Mirages to different places, you might be surprised with what they find. Right, so I've got to unlock Stroll on the Mirage board. With the AP. Also, you can unlock these, but you need to... You need to reach certain requirements. For example... This one here, I need to obtain something. And this one here, I need to reach level 10 or higher. So let's learn Stroll. I've got two SP. I could learn Ram, or I could learn Cure. I'm going to wait until I can learn Cure. Because healing is always good. Tama... She can change. For her to change, she needs to obtain something. I can raise HP, I can raise accuracy, I can raise strength. I'm going to raise strength. And then go towards... Oh, I could also give you cure. Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess I should have both people who can cure. That seems good. Choco chicks come along for a stroll. So when you have stroll, huh? that's gonna say Pokemon. When you have stroll creatures with you, you should just run around. Now try examining the Gimme Golem one more at a time. You should run around maps. Found something. Because it's likely that the Choco chick is gonna be able to find something else. So if you just run around. It could find something for you. It's not guaranteed, of course. But it'll be in my best interest to just wander around looking for this stuff. Hello. Gimme, gimme. See a luster leaf reflecting its eye. Give it the luster leaf. Yes. Whoa, it vanished. That's so cool. I guess the Choco Chick found us just the item we needed. Yep, yep! With the help of a Mirage of the two, there's nothing that you can't accomplish. And Mirage Boards are for much the more than unlocking abilities. You can also use them to change your Mirages into new and the powerful forms. So be sure to keep on the leveling up and working on your Mirage Boards. Pretty soon, you'll be bouncing in the trouncing across Grimmoor like a pair of the pros. Oh, I will. That's gonna remember not to talk over these people because I talk a lot. Well, actually, I don't talk as much as many LPs do, which is a problem. But oh well, three potions. So, Tama, I notice mirages disappear when we defeat them. Why is that? Most of the mirages you see in Grimoire don't actually but technically belong in this world. And so, when one of you guys that gives them the old Koyo, they can't maintain their presence here anymore. They fizzle that out and go back to their own world. Huh. Wait. Now, that's weird. Who was it that told me all this before? Ugh. It's like, right there, on the tip of my tongue. Now, what's this? This is the Kata Mercury. Inside, you're the likely to find mirages that are, shall mirages? we say... Oh man, let's go catch them! But... Uh, this one's not very cute. Merkwifts are home to strange, rare, and usually very dangerous mirages. If you want to explore one, make sure you're fully prepared for diving in. Most Merkwifts will be too tough for you to handle when you first find them. If you do end up getting warmed, come back later and you've gotten a bit stronger. Mon? Why did you... Now what do we do? I tried to tell you. Inside Merkwifts, you're likely to find mirages that are the strong and dangerous. You tried to tell us. Try a little harder, please. No problem. Easy.
I've obtained its prism, but I'm pretty sure it's actually impossible to win. Because of its power. I mean, I can try and attack it. For five damage. If I just miss every single hit, like, seven times in a... Oh, I'm dead. Party has fallen. Did you two die already? What? I died? But that's... no way! Maybe it's true. That Mirage and the Murkrip did kinda... Well, I'm still alive. Yes. That's because someone intervened. Right at the moment of your demise. And made it so the battle never happened. Wow, you can really do that? Of course. Although Tom is the one who does it. That's the right! I have the power to rewind time a little. And then the whisk you to safety. Although... It's a cost me a life to do it, so I hope you don't mind if I rest for a little of the while afterwards. A life? You might not to believe it, but I've actually got multiple lives. Back there, I had to sacrifice one of those lives to turn back time and to save you. You see, this girl with the ribbon just showed up in my dreams. She's the one who taught me how to do it. That makes zero sense and kind of freaks me out, but Tama, I'm impressed. But thanks! Oh, but just so you know, I can only to use my powers to protect the two of you specifically. And only the if you need to fight, like what happened to you in the Murkrip. Oh, the yeah. And I can always to recover my lives if you stay here and let me the rest a spell. So, don't forget to give me a breather before I run out of second the chances. Dude, you got it. Say no more. Rest yourself silly. Yes, sir, sir. Thanks, Tama. We really owe you one. Especially Lon, who didn't have the good sense to listen before diving in. Yeah, uh... <laughs> when the entire party is defeated, Tama will whisk everyone back to the safety of Ninewood Hills. There is no penalty, but you have to fight your way back to where you were. Be careful, though, if you're inside the threshold of a powerful mirage, Tama won't be able to save you. It's game over. Hey, who's that? Oh, if you mean our new guest, she claims to have gotten herself lost. Go say hello. She's quite the character. Um, uh, okay. I don't know exactly who that is. The question is how she got here from the outside world when it's no easy trick. She must have experience crossing between planes. When we're in here, we are human form. Let's go to Plaza 99. So, she's over at North Promenade. Wow, she's so tiny. Is she, uh, what's the word again? Lilikin? Hello. Chocobo Colina! Oh. <coughs> Hello, and how are you? Mm -hmm. Uh, good. More or less. You know, what a nice quiet place. Oh, uh. So who are the you? You can call me Chocolate. Chocolate. I seem to have washed up here like a soggy yellow feather in a storm. Huh? I do have this funny knack for winding up in strange places. Uh, cool. All right. Care to stop? I've got the goods. Chocoboco ching. Chocolate has a habit of picking up all sorts of strange items. Those items could be yours if you're ready to fork over enough of Grimmore's currency, which is known as gill. Chocolate Mart section or selection is always improving, so when you visit Ninewood Hills, don't miss the opportunity to stop by and see what's in stock. I don't think this is the same person from FF13 2, but it definitely takes place after that. This game must take place afterwards because it certainly has the song. What kind of operation is this? all kinds of stuff as I bounce from point A to point Q. I'm your Choco Connection! It also the sound, it's not so a glitch. Hey, are you ready to head back to Grimoire? I mean, I guess it is a glitch, but it's not a glitch on my end. It's just a game. Sometimes the audio cuts off on certain lines. Got it, 
charming. You know, when you were awakened, you stood towards me out of two. I don't remember raising you to be such a selfish selfer food. Well, I don't remember you the raising me at all. Who's this? Oh my, I'm just your adorable local weird pixie, aka Seraphie. My hobbies include gossip mongering and uh pixie. Oh, I'm good at hoarding things. Yep. Hoarding? Hoarding. Why do you think I'm here? You must have tons of prismariums. More than we can handle, right? Well, we're still working on it. Uh-huh. You'll have scabs of them before long. You're gonna need a place to unload. Yeah, they are kind of bulky. Well, who's got you covered? This pixie right here. Anacrone made me a special prism case that lets you keep all your prismariums safe. Just plonk the ones you don't need in and yoink the ones you do need out. All plonking and yoinking must be performed within the confines of Nine Wood Hills or from an alternate location with a suitably strong connection. Additional terms, conditions, and restrictions may apply. Okay. I'm not sure I caught every single word, but I guess I agree. Oh, yeah. This prismarium belongs to one of my tribe. Treat it with the same boundless love and affection you feel for me. Okay. Seraphie's kind of a special the case. Enocro has entrusted Seraphie with a prism case that automatically stores all the prismariums you collect. You can use it to select which mirages you take with you on your adventures. The prism case is also where you permit to transfigure mirages. Talk about a handy contraption. Seraphie keeps the prism case in Nine Wood Hills. You can access it by taking or talking to her directly, but the case is also at your disposal in Grimoire. Just select it from the menu at gates or save crystals. Obtained a Seraphone. The Seraphone is a special device you can use to call Seraphie and access your prison case remotely. Seraphie is not too keen on leaving Nine Wood Hills, but thanks to the Seraphone you can still swap in mirages while out on the go. Just keep in mind that each Seraphone can only be used once, because Seraphie doesn't like feel like getting off her uh, because your security is important, of course. A Sylph Prismarium. A tiny wind pixie that makes its home in forests and other places of natural beauty. The Sylphs are good friends to Seraphie. In fact, she sometimes meets her with them to play cards and gossip, so she should be able to treat them with the same balanced affection Seraphie expects you to feel for her. Whisper Wind, Balance, Tickle. Okay. Name your Mirage. Yes. Well, it's not... It's not a very imaginative name. But this is how I kind of... This is kind of how I play these. I, I have to name the Pokemon if you don't. Or name your creatures if you don't, your, your monster. This is Sylphie. Named after Sylphie from uh, FF8. I'm immediately going to replace Tamma because, uh, why not? Probably not as good as Tamma, but that's fine. So what mirages can Selfie learn? She can change to something else too. And you obtain something different. Whisper Wind inflicts magical wind damage and restores an equal amount of HP. Can obtain another Sylph Prism. Okay, that's fine. So I've got a wind attack that also heals. Silver Park. I think you should be able to manage on your own from here. You mean you're the leading us? Yes, you handle things now. Oh, okay, I the will. That's cool. <clears throat> I'll lock this place down tighter than a Malboro's bottle of mouthwash. That's a Seraphie guarantee. Huh? Now. But, but where are you going now? Oh, well, somewhere what else, of course. Mean? Yeah, that's huh? not exactly very helpful. Awesome. Look, we really need to ask you so many things. No, no, you'll figure it out. I can't do everything for you now. Everything? I've barely done anything. Besides, every world has its own rules. Like water dousing fire, and light banishing darkness. Uh, I think that's just called science. Well, I designed mine to be so completely unbreakable that even I can't undo them. Undo what? The rules. <sighs> You're bad at explaining. You're saying you can't help because that violates the rules of the world or something? Exactly. But why is that? I mean, come on. Just who do you think you are? Me? Who 
Oh, well... I'm God. <laughs> bye, bye for now. Rita. She's gone. Dude. Uh, I guess we can't necessarily rule it out, but for somebody calling the cosmic shots, she seems kind of sub-benevolent. Well, that's Anna Crow for you, so get used to it. So, she really is God? Beats me. Anna Crow is Anna Crow, wouldn't you say? Pretty the much. Uh, thanks for clearing it up. Well, basically, they don't know. Are you the impatient type? Here's a little trick. During cutscenes, you can hold RB to quickly speed through the conversation. Oh, not good enough for you. You can always press start. They might skip the scene or skip. I'm not going to do that. Of course, if you start skipping scenes of the band and you won't be long for you have zero idea what's going on in the story. But then again, if this is your second trip through Grimoire, you may want to get right down to business. You've always got the adventure log to fall back on. Yes, I'll save. Thank you. 1% of the Mirage Manual complete. Great. Uh, right, so let's try changing the speed down to 1, but also 1, and see if that's faster or slower. I think it's going to be faster. Let's go. I would like to travel. The Wellspring Woods, please. Press RB to toggle which character you control. It doesn't have to really land for the long haul or vein, always taking the veins. Sometimes you just need to change the pace. The character in the lead has no effect on combat, so feel free to use this feature just for fun. Well, that certainly cost us a chunk of time. And whose fault is that? Oh, it's random battles, I forgot. Hello. Tired of the grind? Then here's a few tips you're sure to like. Hold RB during battle to fast forward and make them fly like a speeding tamer. You can also enable auto battle mode with a single press of back. In this mode, the pike continues fighting without any input from you. A few words of warning though, when playing in active mode, time continues to flow when you choose your commands, which means enemies will keep attacking while you fast forward. Also in auto battle mode, party members merely repeat the last commands you gave them, they don't make choices for you. Just so keep an eye on the action. When using the basic menu, enemies are targeted automatically for you, however you can always override this and use to manually select a target. Also I can't switch from Tama. I've just realised, because now I can't use um... In I can't use Libra. I guess in Prism tactic was to do more physical damage. You bitch. See, so yeah, imprisoning can fail. Also, I guess one is slower. Get him. I'll fast forward that cutscene because it's the same cutscene over and over again. Yes. Very yeah. good. You still get experience for imprisoning, though, which is really good. It's, like, very helpful. No money, though. You got a cute little forest animal. Or at least that's what it wants you to think. Then power, tail punch to the jaw. This mirage has nothing to do with the legendary continent. May or may not squeak. Moo when upset. Use physical attacks to create a prism tuna eat. Its skills are... Oh, it can learn Libra. Oh. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Name your Mirage. Uh, its name is Moo. Uh, now its name is... Uh, Moo something. I'm going to call it Murkus. Instead of Marcus. Its name is Murkus. There's a naming convention. Every kind of thing that is a moo will be called moo something. Every kind of thing that's a chocobo after Barco will be called choc something. The EXP experience you earn in battle is split between all participating prime members. Mirages that are accompanying you but didn't fight in the battle still receive a flat 8% of the total experience earned. However, mirages in your prism case get nothing. So make sure to bring the mirages along with you if you're trying to make them stronger. Right, hang on. Right, so. Mercus. You need to learn Libra. And Stroll. And then Subdue, because I want to be able to do non-lethal physical damage to basically barely kill something. But not actually kill them. Right, so stack set up. I want Bako to be... No, I want uh, Mercus to be here. So that I start fights in big mode, use Libra and then switch. 
I want names. That works for me. Is there a way to see what enemies are in each zone? Like a bestiary. No. At least not yet. Alright, fine. I've got to change the battle speed back as well. Okay, so these guys... I've already got a move, so I can just kill these guys. Dude. See ya. Well, that ought to do oh, it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. And some money for my troubles. Right, so before I forget, let's switch back to one speed and, I mean, five speed and five speed. To see if it actually is faster. Okay. There's also this chest over here I just ignored. Phoenix down, a bit late for that. Right, what are we fighting? Let's Another Moo, that's fine. No trouble at all. Oh, oh yeah. Keep going. I'm, only interested in, I'm not going to try and catch every single thing there is to catch, but I'll try and catch anything new I see. And then if I really care, I'll go back and check later. Level 26. On, don't touch it this time. I know, I know. But could we see all this stuff before? Now that you've fought that thing the once, you can see all its information. And if you're to happen to know some leap of magic, you can peep at its data before you even jump in. Very good thing to keep in the mind. Got it. Yep. Very good thing to keep in the mind, Lom. Uh, why are you repeating it? And just for my sake? Very good thing to keep in the mind. So it's level 26. So I'll come back when I'm level 26 and kick the shit out of it then. I want a behemoth. Yeah, we got this. I... Yeah, this is definitely faster at one speed. I mean five speed than one. Give me my experience. I mean, these guys aren't worth fighting, really, because they're not not particularly strong. Also, there's a lightning storm happening outside, so if we have a power cut, then you'll know why. Bridge Overlook. That's thunder, you heard. Why is there an anime opening? Oh, I guess I'll shut up.
Yes. Chapter 2 Foretold by Prophecy Wine said, I hope we're almost out of the woods. Hey sis, is that a town over there at the end of the bridge? Yeah, and I don't know why, but something about it takes me back. I think that's just like helpful hints if you just started the game like here, you reloaded and the game saying, what's that over there to tell you where to go? I'll see you guys next time. When we go and see what the castle at the end of the town is. Or the bridge. See you then. Goodbye.